Um, I do have an Arctic Monkeys quiz here for you. Wow, that's Telly Darshu who's getting on with it. Yeah, well, I know. That's, that's <laughs> good. So, a bit anxious. Did you say you've already done it? Uh, yeah, I already did it. I think I got eight out of 12. Wow. So, okay. so the pressure's on. Um, I want you to uh, answer them without multiple choice at best, but some of them are a bit mad, so I'll give you it for them. I'll get them. Um, so there's only 12. What years did Arctic Monkeys headline Glastonbury? That's a great question, actually. 2007? Yeah. 2013? Correct. you got to um, think of the albums, aren't you? It was like AM on it when they yeah. did that. And then the year just gone, obviously. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this came out last year, Radio X, so you know it's uh, good. Okay. <laughs> Matt Helder's played on which Rock Legend saw album? Josh Hom. Oh, I thought this was a baby question. Uh, I'll give you a multiple choice. Mick Jagger, Iggy Pop, Paul Iggy Pop, McCartney. Yeah. yeah. You thought it was a what question? Yeah, baby question. Baby! It's one for babies, haven't it? <laughs> what song did Arctic Monkeys cover at the London Olympics? Uh, Beatles, wasn't it? Um, Come Together? Correct. Better Michael Jackson version, but... <laughs> I heard that. Uh, which song did uh, the title Favourite Worst Nightmare come from? Which what, sorry? Sorry, which song does the title oh, really? Favourite Worst Nightmare come from? I guess this, and I? Did you I get mean, it right? It's a rubbish song, yeah. <laughs> <I'll> give, <laughs> I mean, it's probably the worst song they've ever done, I think. Uh, I'll give you the multiple choice. Five is out it? of five, D is for Dangerous. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, D is for Dang- the D is for Dice, that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I thought you meant which other band did they nick it from? Oh, uh, right. I mean, I probably didn't ask it right. <laughs> which album was almost called The Rain Shaped Shimmer Trap? Suck It and See, Humbug AM. I know they were going to call Suck It and See Thriller. Yeah, I knew that. And there was some sort of like issues with doing it, weren't they? I think they just. Bottled it, yeah. I did do. So what? It's not. So it's not suck it and see. <laughs> but I forgot to be honest. Um, what are the other two choices? I'm good after Russia. Yeah? There was only seven uh, options, but <laughs> Humbug AM. Oh, I go for AM. Suck it and see. Oh, apparently. for fuck's sake. <laughs> This is a classic. He's popped up on the uh, pod before. Who appears on the cover of uh, the first album? Can oh, you remember yes. his name? Chris McClure. Correct. Which song not I bet you look good on the dance floor off number one spot after one week? Sugar Babes, Push the Button, Madonna, Hung Up, Westlife, You Raise Me Up. If Sugar Babes. I had to guess that as well. How could it wrong? Westlife, you raised me up. I feel like that was ages ago. Though. Yeah, that seems like <coughs> live and kicking days. Here's one. What was the name of the collection of the Monkeys demos that did the rounds in 2004? Uh, beneath the Boardwalk. Correct. What was the name of the Sheffield pub where Arctic Monkeys played the first gig? I also played there. No biggie. <sighs> the Grapes. <laughs> Correct. Funny story about that. I've got an absolutely horrendous review in Sandman for it. Yeah, I think you mentioned that before. <laughs> Was that the one with the ill-fitting jeans? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. It's a classic. Isn't it? <laughs> one or two gigs we played outside a hole. I'd love to know how many times you think about that. <laughs> God, I'm going to try to forget about it straight away. But the only thing about that is, it's like not only ripping into my band, but also my dress sense. <laughs> you said no, you don't. <laughs> Said we didn't have any choruses and my jeans were too tight for me. So, oh, call, call it a day on that one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> pursue, pursue other things, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you read it, just quit the band. And I remember being at a girl's house as well. I was like, this couldn't be any worse. <laughs> so, can I read it? Nah, I don't want to thought. Nah, so, nah. leave that way. I'm going to get off. Yeah, just throw it in the page. <laughs> Um, I didn't know this one, actually. Uh, which novel gives the band the debut album's name, Whatever People Say I Am, uh, That's What I'm Not? I've read it. I've it's read title. this at uni. 
Saturday night, it's something like, yeah. I go on Saturday night. Saturday night and Sunday morning. Yeah. Can I have that? Yeah, you can have that. Cheers, yeah. Which didn't actually band finish did Arctic Monkeys producer James Ford used to be in? Oh, fucking hell. Did you get this? No. Nah. I got yeah. it, I feel like, process of elimination. Everything, everything. Simeon, LCD sound system. Simeon? Yeah. What's Simeon Mobile this girl? Just Simeon. Uh, it just says that. All right. I mean, I won't rely on it too much. Uh, this is an odd one. What type of car did Matt Helders buy after his paycheck from the initial publishing deal? Porsche 911, no idea. <laughs> Clear, Fiat 500, Vauxhall Corsa. Corsa? Correct, yeah. Well there. <laughs> uh, 10 out of 12. Yeah, so, yeah. take that. Yeah, you got her, I think. Decent quiz, to be fair. It was all right, wasn't it? 